Hello and welcome to my knife channel. Well, what we have here is my very first ever case knife. I think it's the very first ever case knife I've handled also. So I waited pretty late in life <laughs> to finally get one. But uh, this is the new vault series that they released. I was going to do a package opening and... And, uh show you my excitement and everything but uh i couldn't wait <laughs> and i got it i had to break into it you know first i pulled it out a little bit i said all right i'm just gonna peek at it and the paper was already torn here and part of it was sticking out and i said oh i can't resist i've got to pull it out um so it comes wrapped in this little paper uh this was um in there with it which is i guess a little advertising thing Case mini pocket sharpener. Oh, and I got one of these um, pocket sharpeners. They're like this. It's just a little, it has a little rattly sound, but it works all right. Coarse and fine pull through. Anyways, you get that. And then you get your product quality information. We're not going to go through all this, but I mean, for the people that it kind of stuck together like that. Paper, paper, some holding it together. As you can see, I haven't read it. But we'll look at that. I'll look at that later. <clears throat> Anyways, here's your standard box. WR Case and Sons Cutlery. The... Oops, that's not it. Here's the product number. Number 25588. Caribbean blue bone saw cut jig copper head. Now, when they say um, saw cut jig, I was expecting like when Rough Rider does their saw cut stuff, like a really deep uh, digging in kind of a saw cut thing. I'm just looking around here and I don't see one up on the table. But um, this is fairly smooth. Let me zoom in a little bit. You really, all right, now you need to focus, you stupid thing. See there, that's the saw cut. But, I mean, to your finger, it feels smooth. And this shield is recessed a little bit, which I kind of like. It's not sticking up or anything. It's uh, glued in. The pins are flush, except for this one, but it's rounded. Same way over here. You can see a little bit more of the saw cut on there, but it's just barely. It's like lightly touched it. I like how this color fades, you know, over here on this one. It's not as noticeable on this side. The fit and finish is pretty good. Now there's some gappage right here on the between the spring and liner that you can see a little bit of light. When you look through it. But overall everything is smooth. And. I just. I'm really impressed with it. <laughs> and the main reason I got it. Was because of. The main blade. Is a Warncliffe. It's a nice long Warncliffe. Let me back this guy out a little bit. <clears throat> Slap a ruler down here you get out of the way well i actually have my calipers i found i guess i could use those but we'll just use the ruler so you've got a two and three quarter inch cutting edge and about a three inch blade i wouldn't want to push that one if there was a three inch blade law you know because eh, it's close <laughs> it's close yeah, nice worn clip blade on that one. Nice half stop. That's a nice... Uh, I haven't seen any blade wrap. I just got this recently, so I mean, I haven't looked at it a whole lot. Got a nice pin blade. And here's the markings. Now, I don't know anything about case knives, as you know. But I think USA stands for USA. Pretty sure I got that one. And uh, 6246... Something to do with the model number. W might be for Warncliffe. And then, let's put this over here. 
SS for stainless steel. So I don't know if they do it by GECs, by I'm sure that's not the the last two digits or not the year. Now the box had something on it. One twenty five twenty one. So that's probably when they made this knife. <clears throat> but yeah, this is the vault release and oh let me zoom back out. Like I said, it's my first, very first ever case knife. I believe to ever hold, because most of the time, my father had like a frost cutlery or old timer or something like that, and not a whole lot of those. So, yeah, I'm really impressed. Now let's take the second blade out here. I was hesitant, you know, because case knives i didn't have anything against them it's about a two inch blade here on the cutting edge on this one and about a two and a quarter inch overall <clears throat> let me show you in centimeters Only about five centimeters on that guy and we have an overall length of about 10 centimeters Line him up here. Get your butt up there. Yeah, about 10 centimeters overall. Or three and something. Three and three quarters. About. Maybe a little bit more. Almost four inches. All right, let's get its weight. Because they said it weighed 3.8 ounces on the website. I'll put the specs up there. But, yeah, things are a lot different when you see them visually. 3.3 .3 ounces. So let's go to grammages. That's not grams. 93.90 grams. <coughs> I had seen other Warncliffe models that I was thinking about, like the Swayback, but I wanted a long... Warncliffe, and this is probably about the longest you're gonna get on them, I guess. But I really like this knife, and it's a copperhead pattern, so this is raised up over here on this end. <coughs> oh, excuse me, but yeah, real good fit and finish. Now, when the blade's out, this spring right here is just slightly proud, just slightly. I'm just looking at this more critical than I would a Rough Rider just because of the price um, paid on it. But it's right up there. This one's just a little bit proud also. You can see it easier from the side. But other than that, I mean, when they're, when they're at rest, they're even. And that's, that's good enough for me. But yeah, I'm happy with this. Now... I looked at the edge. I haven't cut anything with it yet. But I looked at the edge before cutting anything. And it looks a little toothy. So I'm predicting that when I cut paper with it, it's not going to be razor sharp. But it looks like they did a fairly even edge grind all the way down. So we'll see. But yeah, it's... Like when they said jigged and saw cut bone, like I said, I really expected it to be more deeply. And I'm not dissatisfied, like I said. I'm not I'm not unhappy at all with it. I like the way it is. They're, the transitions are, you can only detect it with your fingernail. I mean, if you run your finger through it, it feels smooth. And all these pins are smooth. Yeah, that's the only way you can detect those transitions. Everything else about it is great. It's just a fantastic little knife. So, yeah, I'll be buying more case knives, definitely. Um, the case knives, the reason why I didn't buy them is uh, just because when I first started getting back into buying uh, traditional knives, 
a lot of people were talking about quality issues with Case. I mean, I, I saw a lot of videos where people were coming up and just saying, oh man, they really suck. Well, let's look at centering. It's not too bad. This one's a little bit to this side, and this one's centered. Um, but I don't see any blade rub. I don't see any blade wrap. They just did a pretty damn good job. But yeah, that was what was holding me back, is all these videos about um, quality issues. And yeah, you might. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the saw cut to it. You can hear it with a fingernail. But that's about it. On this side, yeah, it's not even, on this side, it's not even saw cutty. But these are really smooth right here, these bolsters. I'll put the specs up and everything, like I said, when I do the rest of this. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with this. I mean, when it locks open like that, it locks in solidly. You put your finger up here and it just locks in place, just like a finger twirl. You're sitting right there on the kick. It fills your my hand up completely. A little bit over sticking on the end. Um... Yeah. All right. Let's try. Let's try it on some Smoky Mountain paper. Now I expect this, like I said, to be a little toothy, and uh, yeah, there it is. It's sharp. I mean, it's sharp, but you can see a little ragged there. It's not as bad as I. You look at it on paper. I mean, you look at it under magnification, and you think, man, that's going to need... You can see here where it was dragging right up through there. But that's not too bad. Let's try the other blade. Nice half stop. Both of them have half stops. And a good lockup. A good interface going on right there. Oh, let's stab this guy. Yeah, just a little stropping. You can see there... Anytime you get like paper grabbing on there, you got some issues with just that blade. But as far as uh, let's try here. I think I've grown some hair back since the last time I tried this. Let's see if it's hair shaving sharp. Uh, yeah, there's some hairs on here. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'd strop it before I tried to use it for cutting anything but i don't think you're gonna have to sharpen it just dropping it so yeah i'm pretty impressed with it i'm a case fan now <clears throat> but what i was trying to explain on that the whole reason for not getting into cases and everything was um the quality issues i didn't want to get a case knife and spend you know like 70 or 80 dollars and get something that was less well made than say a fifteen dollar. This is a Copperhead a Rough Rider. No half stops. But as far as fit and finish goes, and this one's kind of a sow belly, you know, design to it. And both blades, it has a different kind of Copperhead setup, you know, with two, uh, you know, a, a clip point blade here and a. Almost a trailing point, but it's a drop point. And, of course, this one has the worn clip, which, da 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 that's my favorite. And I'm glad they used it as a main blade, too. And not just drop it over on the secondary, because I love a worn clip blade. Just for aesthetics, mainly. I mean, also practicality, but aesthetics, you know? This thing just looks so, just like, artistic, you know? Like, they just, shoot. They just made it perfect. But this has a little bit of upsweep to it if you needed to do anything. But I mean, really, I don't do a whole lot of skinning. <laughs> if these, these other blade shapes are good for skinning. and I mean, there's other things you can do, too. I mean, it applies to construction and stuff like that. But still, I'm really impressed with this. Oh, and I've already got a slip for it. I, I switch it around this way. This is the medium uh, Rough Rider slip. Now, it'll fit in the large, but it comes down to here. And when it comes down there, it's hard to grab it to get it. This one, I just 
flip this guy back a little bit. It allows me to grab it perfectly. And it's still protecting, you know, at least this side of it and everything else. It's protecting the most, you know, the majority of it. And yeah, I'm impressed with my very first case knife ever. Ever, 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 ever. So there you go. I'm happy with it. I'm impressed. Um, yeah, I know there might be other quality issues and stuff like that, but uh, maybe I got lucky. But I'm happy with the one I've got. I don't see anything prob any any issues, any problems with it. And I love the way it looks, the way it feels. I just grabbed it right here. The nail neck, you know, doesn't have a match strike and all that, but that's all right. I don't, I don't need that. And the other difference I've noticed is this recess shield. You know, when you're sitting up there. I mean, you're not grabbing it all the time, but when you run your finger over it, you'll feel it's recessed. And I don't view that as a bad thing either. I have not cleaned this up, and it came very clean compared to Rough Riders that I get. I haven't oiled it. I haven't done anything to it other than look at it, carry it around, hold it. That was the first thing I cut was that paper with it. You know, I didn't want to, I didn't strop it, nothing. So yeah, I highly recommend this particular knife. <laughs> Not this one, but this particular style because you can't have this one. This one's mine. So, thanks for watching and have a nice day.